Men, stop that other truck from coming down. Looks like Hudson's truck is out of control. Come on. Otherwise, it would have hurt. <laughs> Let's see what's wrong with the truck. Did you get any of the hijackers? I think I did one. What's it damaged? Ah, broken steering knuckle. Oh, some of that high grade on the other truck will go on into fast cash. Right on. What's the matter with you? Are you tired? Oh. <laughs> Are you sure that Hudson didn't recognize you at the Eskimo village? Oh, I'm certain. He thinks I was lost in the shipwreck. Hmm. Well, you've got to keep out of sight. From now on, we concentrate on Dr. Miller and his invention. And the doctor must be brought to me alive. And this must be done in such a way that no suspicion will be cast on me. You understand? Yes, of course. I'll send you out to Brandon's place. There you'll be close to the Hudson mine in case you need it. Rock speaking. All right. Keep in touch. I knew we shouldn't have stuck our necks out. Brandon bungled that hijacking job, and Hudson got through. He's coming here to see me. You think it's the best? 
cause of that. I've protected myself very carefully. My importance to our wake requires that. Yes, of course. Yes? Can you help him, Monsieur? I'll see him in a minute. Yes, wait in here. All right, send him in. Hello, Jim. Hello, Mr. Brock. Glad to see you. Thanks. Sit down. How are things going at the mine? You don't have to go. Hijackers again. But I got that shipment through to your stamp mill. You know, I can't understand this outbreak of lawlessness. Though it always seems to be more prevalent in war times. Mr. Brock, I have to have another truck. There's an old one of yours there at the mill. I could sure use if you'd sell it. I'd like to accommodate you, Jim, but trucks are hard to get nowadays. When will you need it? Right away. A lot of new machinery came in, including the stuff we have to have for the sawmill we planned. I'd like to get it up to the mine tonight. I guess this is the one you mean, isn't it? GMQ? Yes, that's it. You can have it. How much? I'll take it. I'll write you a check for it right now. No, all right. Why don't you go back by way of the Deep Coast Road? Well, I thought that road was closed, Mr. Brock. No, the road commissioners have fixed it up. I use it quite a lot. Well, it certainly is a lot closer that way. I think I'll use it tonight. There you are, and I certainly appreciate this. Not at all, Jim. Very glad to help you. Any man can make a comeback the way you did after being wounded for the service deserves all the breaks he can get. Thanks. And if you need any help loading your stuff, just let me know. I'll do that. Thanks a lot, Mr. Brock. Not at all. I thought you were laying off the Hudson outfit. I am. That is, anything violent. But if Jim Hudson should meet with a fatal accident on his way back to the mine, that'd be too bad, wouldn't it? Hey, Arnold. Are you sure I can buy all this equipment this aspect? Certainly. You're going to look Jim up anyway. He'll show you where to go. You mean if he got there safely? Nah, he made it all right. Well, I'm on my way, Dad. All right, I'll drive carefully. Bye. Bye, Dad. Doggone it. I forgot something. Oh, Ruth. I forgot to tell you about the first aid kit. It's the only doctor we have here. And the station wagon is our only ambulance. You want me to take it over for yes, you? Yes, when you get to town, buy whatever it needs. Now, is there anything else, Mr. Hudson? Well, if there is, I'll probably think of this when you get back. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I don't care how long it takes, we've got to find Pete before somebody else does and identify them. Now we'll go back up the road toward the mine. Spread out a little and keep your eyes peeled. in a serious condition. You can't move him until I finish dressing his wound. You act like you know what you're doing. Thank you. I've done this before. Isn't that car from the Gunsight Mine? Is it? Are you Miss Miller? I might be. You sure put out a lot of information, don't you? That's not my job. No? Then what is your job? Right now to care for the wounded. That's fine. We've got some more of them. Bring her along, boys. Why don't you put the injured man in the station wagon? I'll decide what to do. Put her on a horse and blindfold her. You don't have to force me. If they're wounded, I'll go willingly. Noble, aren't you? No, I'm not noble. I'm doing this for a reason you'd never understand.
man will help you. I'll need some alcohol to dress this man's wounds. That's a good idea. I could use a little snort myself. I want it for sterilizing. You mean you're going to waste good liquor? Get it. Okay. You're too smart to try to get away from here, aren't you? Really? And I thought you were too smart to try to hold me here. We'll see. The art HB. The art HB. Come in, HB. Young Hudson gave us a slip again, Chief. But I think we... From now on, don't try anything till you hear from me. I'm sorry, Chief. By the way, we've got Miller's daughter here. What? Why, of all the stupid things. Couldn't help it. She found Pete and could identify him. Well, the only thing to do now is to get rid of her. And get this set up for tonight. Jim Hudson will be coming up Deep Gulch Road. Where are those men going? To a bridge party. Bridge party? Yeah, and your friend Hudson's gonna be dummy. How's he doing? Oh, fine. Uh, he'll wake up pretty soon and be hungry. I'm hungry right now. How's about a little food for all of us? Can you get some? Sure. I'll go out to the cook shack and make some sandwiches. I'll get busy. When we hit the deep gulch road, we'll stretch out to half-mile intervals. Okay. Your truck ready to roll? All set. Let's go. We'll cut the cables on this side. Enjoy ourselves. Uh, what were these men doing when they were shot? Prospecting for gold. Jim Hudson? You ain't so dumb. Neither is Jim Hudson. He'll wipe you all out before he's through. <laughs> Why, after the night, he won't even be able to wipe his own chin. Oh, you're referring to that bridge party he's going to have. You catch on, Clay. Help yourself. May I? Sure. I like a gal that can handle on liquor. You'll be surprised. Well, here's to you name it. Here's hoping of Good enough. 
The weight of the truck will do the rest. Sold it to him today. Not a bad deal, huh? Drive Miss Ruth. What? Wilson, is Jim driving that truck up ahead? Well, yes, but. Well, then we got to catch him. What's up? Where did you come from? Is there a bridge near here? Jim said something about one. Well, that's it. Hurry. We've got to stop him. I'm going as fast as this truck will go. 